In this video, you'll learn how to use the coil cutter from Potter USA with a Dremel. First, you'll need to insert the blade into the arbor. The arbor comes with a bottom, a top, and a screw, as well as a blade. The blade does have an orientation that you need to pay attention to. The text printed on the top of the blade should be facing up when placed in the arbor. This will ensure the teeth are facing in the correct direction. So place the blade with the text side up over the central portion in the arbor. Then place the top over the blade. Insert the screw and finger tighten. Make sure the blade stays centered in the arbor. Once you've finger tightened the screw, go ahead and give it just a little bit of tightening with the Allen wrench. It's important before beginning to turn off and unplug the rotary tool. First, begin by screwing the coil cutter bushing onto the threaded end of the motor tool housing and fasten securely. Thread the collet onto the top of the rotary tool. Make sure it's screwed all the way down to the bottom of the threaded section. Double check that the blade is correctly placed into the arbor by ensuring that the text is facing upwards when, ha when the blade is housed in the arbor. Screw the blade arbor onto the motor tool shaft until it is tight. Tighten the cutter arbor on the motor tool shaft using the wrench that came with the motor tool or a 3 8 inch open end wrench. Be careful not to over tighten. Slide the coil cutter guard over the bushing and tighten with the set screws. To ensure the blade is centered in the coil holder base slot, remove the top from the coil holder base and place the blade and guide shield over the base. The blade should be centered and have equal clearance on either side of the blade. Use the set screws to lock the guard into place. Finger tighten the set screws and then recheck that the blade is centered in the coil holder base slot. Once everything is placed properly, go ahead and use the Allen wrench to tighten the set screws. Once everything is properly tightened and set up, you're ready to go ahead and use the coil cutter to cut your coil. Before you begin, determine which side of the base you need to use for the size of coil and diameter of wire you'll be cutting. To check, place your coil in the base and rest the base top on the coil. Place the coil holder base in a vise. Never hold the coil holder base in your hand while cutting. Place the wire coil in the groove of the coil holder base. Apply cut lube along the top of the coil or thoroughly coat the blade. This extends the life of the blade and provides better cuts. Place the slotted coil holder top on the coil with the stop facing down and toward the left. Use a thin tool to push the coil all the way to the left until it's up against the welded stop. 
Tighten the screws until the top is firmly seated across the length of the coil. Here you can see I'm using a small drill bit to make sure my coil is seated against the stop. Make sure not to over tighten the screws. The top should not bow at all. Place the slot of the guide attached to your Dremel onto the coil holder base with the flat portion of the guide sitting squarely on the base. Apply full power to the rotary tool and slide it down with a steady, even speed. Don't let the blade contact the coil until full power has been applied to the rotary tool. This is important. Do not remove the guard from the coil holder base while the blade is still turning. After the coil is cut, turn the rotary tool off and wait for the blade to stop. Remove the guard from the base. And there you have it, your coil completely cut into usable jump rings. Set the freshly cut rings aside and repeat to cut any additional coils.